Tomatoes. Orange juice. Beans. Croissant. Bacon. Toast. Fried egg. Sausage. Fried egg. Pancakes. Waffles. Ash brown. Darkness ablaze. How are you going to go and light the absence of light on fire? Professional Pokemon man does Pokemon set late. It's still the newest set. We've got the English set here. Let's take a look at the packs. I must say, once you go Japanese, you can't go open these English packs. They're sort of a letdown. I don't really like the, the way they're done, the artwork. But of course, I am excited for the cards. I haven't had a look at anything in the set. Of course, I will have seen uh, most of the artwork from previous Japanese sets that comes out first. We've got a fire to start it off. We have a Dartrix. Always forget that one's name. A Dedenny. We've got a Bird Keeper. Marini. Little Torchic. A Plasticine model there. Nice. Starly. Skarmory. Bird Boys back to back. Them, ooh, triple birds! That's an omen. Uh, these new reverses, awful! Just awful! What the hell were you thinking? This is just English only, I think. Half the ones, but it's like black on black, you can't read the text. It's a very strange decision making. And then we have a Heatran holographic one for one to start us off. Okay, the almighty Charizard. Let's give him a shot. Let's see what he can provide. There's a code card. One, two, three to the front, getting rid of fighting slash ground energy. Ooh, paint me like one of your French Simipores. We've got the Ice Derramaka, we've got a Bon Sweet, we've got Snubble, we have the Fat Raccoon, and that is our reverse, and well, it's more of a squirrel. And then on the very end, two for two, two holographics, an Agron. I'm actually not sure I recognize all this art. Some of this uh, seems maybe new. But I don't think English very often does that anymore. Next pack. I am taking the packs from complete random spaces to avoid any sort of weird box mapping. Um, we've got a darkness, energy. We have a pupitar. We've got a bird. We've got an energy, hiding energy. Jigglypuff. Wasn't hiding that hard. Uh, Spinarak. Ooh, that one's kind of cool. I, s I swear, some of this art I haven't seen. Uh, Gothrida. Reverse. And then Golurk as our one on the end. Next up, the big fire noodle. What does he have in here? A lot of uh, an abundance of bird Pokemon. One, two, three to the front, getting rid of steel. We've got Mr. Burns. We have Ursaring. Looks like he's saying, Why? Why, God? Why? Why me? Why did you evolve me into this ugly beast? I was such a cute preform. Galarian Mr. Mime. Enhancement there. We've got a Dino. Passimian, the monkey, we've got a uh, spider, I think we, ooh, that one, again, the, I think the dark ones, is that meant to be the reverse? It's not, it's like hardly shiny at all, and then some of them just look awful. And on the very end, we have a Houndoom V. Ooh, look at that, look at that shine. That one gets you good, that's a beast. And he's number 21 of 189 from this monster set. Not counting the secrets. Charizard, let me rub his belly for good luck. And let's, if we can open it, go on to the next pack. That is a mess. Here is the code card. One, two, three to the front, getting rid of water. Okay, we've got Spike Myth. Oh, like from the game. Bird Keeper, Steeny, Skitty, Dino, Jigglypuff. We've got a Dunsperce, uh, Clink. And then we've got a vanilla, Vanillite as our re reverse. And then on the very end this time, we have, okay, back-to-back -back V cards. Grimmsnarl. This thing is jacked. Imagine going to the gym in the Pokemon world. You've just got, like, Machamps and then this thing. Just making you feel like a small, small man. Are they permitted to go into human gyms? Are they allowed? Do Pokemon have rights? Or is there some sort of awful segregation thing going on? They're obviously intelligent. A lot of them much more intelligent than humans. Next pack. Let's see who we're going to get in this one. I'm assuming they'd be allowed to work at the gym. Sorry, I'm still hung up on that. Um, I mean, go to the gym. Although, do they even get anything out of that? I guess they do some sort of training with rocks and things in the show. Wishy Washy, Pan Sage, Tauros. Some cool artwork. We've got a Diglett. That's uh, also a place from uh, the game I recognize. We've got a Bird Keeper as our reverse. And on the end for this one, just a normal Muck. Come! Again, I don't know the prices of cards in this set, and I've looked up nothing. But I'm assuming the Charizards, 
always do well. So uh, I'll keep my eyeballs peeled for one of those. We've got the uh, water. Ooh, heat energy. Bring that heat. Simicia, enjoying some uh, some nice berries and fruits on the bench there. Kind of looks like he's in trouble. Maybe because he's using the human bench and he should be on a chain. We've got a Squavit. We've got a Shelmet. We've got a Panpaw. Teddy Ursa before evolving and becoming depressed. A Muck. Reverse. And the very end, Diggersby. Fluffy boy. Why do you look so nervous? What's going on? Moving on. Do you think we'll ever see like a really gritty version of Pokemon? Like at any point in the franchise, will they decide that they will are able to make that? Similar to how Samurai Jack did. Just make like an adult only thing, something. The world would be so cool. There's so much stuff you could do with it. Snubble. We've got Cape of Toughness. Ooh, that's Leon's cape. Very end, Butterfree. And it kind of looks like the fat one. Pregnant Butterfree, pregnant Butterfree. Ironically, it's a V card. I don't think you have your V card, Butterfree. I think you're about to shit out a Butter Baby. Charizard! What will you bring to the table today? Here is code. One, two, three, two, front. Getting rid of fighting or ground. Lair on. He's in the lair. There's the old PC. Oh, look at that! I didn't even notice that. I think maybe I've seen that in the Japanese art. How cool is that? The old game on the screen. Very, very cool. Aridos, um, Ariados, uh, Starly, Aaron, Cub Chu, Toxel, Tyrone, Reppin, he's the reverse. And on the very end, this time, ooh, Galarian Farfetch. Galarian Sir Farfetched. Galarian Sir Farfetched? Is that implying the existence of a Kanto Sir Farfetched? Would that be so far fetched? Here is code. One, two, three to the front, getting rid of fire. My favorite. That means uh, a Charizard is imminent. Turbo patch! We're going turbo, boys! <laughs> Fan Sage reverse on the end. Nope. Just, uh, just this metal fucker. Whoa, this is a rare upside down pack. I've heard about these. Let's see what we can get from this one. Alright, uh, code card, well, yep, upside down code card, and one, yeah, okay, let's do it, one, let's do it properly, one, two, three, to the front, getting rid of fire, we've got, uh, Spikemuth again, Cape of Toughness again, Vibrava, Torchic, little plastic, plasticine model, Duck, Ducklet, three of them there, Carablast, awful Pokemon, Steeny, reverse, very end, Golurk, Golurk somewhere else, I'm looking for Charizard, okay, Next pack, we've got Lavatar, and there's the code, one, two, three, to the front, getting rid of the lightning energy, baby, Ariados, Dugtrio, we've got Billowing Smoke, we've got a Lavatar, Grimer, uh, Derimaka, Centret, Lounging in the Grass, Rowlet, interesting artwork there, and then uh, Cub True Reverse, very end, oh, baby, Pierce, I like that. Pierce Brosnan, what are you doing here? Number 187 of 189. If this was Japanese, he would uh, be in the above set secret region. But in English, there we have a full art trainer. One of the whingiest characters in the game, I must say. Here you go, Jeff Watch. Put this in your stats. Sorry if you can hear any background noise. It has began to rain over here. There is code. One, two, three, front. There is back card. We have a familiar... Oh my god. I think I've seen that before. Uh, up next, struggle gloves. That sounds rapey. I don't like the sound. Struggle gloves. Weird name. Clang, Skitty, Dino, Jigglypuff, Dunsparce. We've got a clink. Parasect as the reverse. A good example of the black text um, with the, the, the symbols. It looks horrible. Next, Manetric. Am I alone on this? Please tell me you agree with me. Charizard. I know there's going to be a good card in one of these Charizard packs. I can feel it in my bones. Here we go. Let's see what we can get. Code, one, two, three, front, getting rid of fighting or ground. Carnivine. Been a while since we've seen him, I feel. 
Cape of Toughness, Powerful Normal Energy, Powerful Star Energy, Electric, Fletchling, Galarian Mime, Torchic, we've got an Aaron, we have Carnivine as the, our reverse. Very end, ooh, Arctovish, I definitely have not read that name before. I am aware of this Pokemon's existence though, it is the one of the new fossil Pokemon. Fire Noodle, what do you bring? Show me what you got. We've got uh, Code. We got one, two, three of the front getting rid of Lightning Energy. We've got Mr. Burns. We've got Flaffy. Teddy Ursa a pants here. More lull. Give me more lull. Can you that? Monkey! Fish. Oh, Draco Vish. That's his evolution. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Very interesting design, that one. Next. Pack. What do we have? Code. One, two, three to the front, getting rid of Psychic. Ooh, into a Psychic. Into Cabo. Give it up, mate. You're getting old. You're going to die of a heart attack. You should be in retirement, that fella. Kitty, Rowlet, Wishy Washy, uh, Desu Duai. And then on the very end, this time, Galarian Mr. Rhyme. Implying the existence of a different region, Mr. Rhyme, perhaps. Shut up. Ooh, that one teared easy. We have a code for you folks back home. Just remember, if you are watching and you're curious as to what the codes are all about. Ooh, look at that art. I don't think I've seen that, that Relicanth. Um, there is a Pokemon online game. You can put the code in and you will get a random booster pack from Darkness Ablaze. Uh, I like to give them out. I don't really play or use it myself. It's a nice little bonus. There's a Nicket and on the end, a Wigglytuff. Charizard, be my spirit guide. Guide me to hyper rare glory. Here we have a code. One, two, three to the front. This time we have an owl. We've got back to back birds, fungus. We've got, um, skip one there, a cup of tea, a Phoebus, a Persimian, a Fletchling. Then we have a Rowlet as a reverse, as a bird pack again. And a Mimikyu. Ooh, Mimikyu in the set. Nice! Next! Pack! If... If I can... There we go! Okay! Code! One, two, three to the front, getting rid of the fire energy! We have a... Simisage! We've got a Simipol! We've got a Cold of Sky! We've got a Sinister City! We've got a Kaiser Boss! We've got a Meltdown! We've got a, Meltdown. We've got a Marini! We've got a Marin! And a right pair! V, baby! It is 4 a.m. Repeat, it is 4 a.m. Heavy rock artillery. If the po if Pokemon was real, he would be in the army. Imagine the fucking Pokemon that they'd have in the army. I don't think there'd be any human soldiers. It'd be all fought with Pokemon. I guess there'd be tamers and there'd be trainers. There's an idea for the gritty adult Pokemon. Pokemon Wars. That'd be a cool plot line. Just all different nations warring against each other with Pokemon and Pokemon tech and all this weird shit. Uh, Fletch, Fletch, Goth, Kabu, Electrike, Mime, Grime, Clink, Pupitar, Desudui. Okay, we're gonna do a famous four pack shuffle. The Mega Pack, where we take the cards from this one first. We keep the camera running. Oop. Uh, we give, ooh, okay, whoops. Um, one, two, three to the front, getting rid of this energy. Then we take the rare, we put it over there. We put this stack down like so. You're going to have to trust me. It's uh, not completely in shot there. We take another one. We give the code card away again. We go one, two, three to the front. We get rid of this energy. Then we take the rare. We put it over there. Then we put the pack down there. We take another pack. We open this one up. Like, 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 like. Like so! Like that! Right? Here we go, you following what I'm putting down, camera guy? One, two, three to the front, getting rid of... Oops, that. Uh, rare, put that there, then you put that stack down. Almost there. Keep following me. It's gonna be epic. And we do one more. We take the back off like so, we throw that away. One, two, three to the front. Rare, rare in the rare stack. Mega stack here, then we take the mega stack. We're gonna do the mega stack first. Look at that! It's like a half deck. Okay. Let's do this. This one's going to be boring, so uh, let's just get through this one as quick as we can. 
Clang, there's a reverse. Simapore, Lunatone, Dartrix, Grimer, I'm skipping over some here. Rowlet, who cares? He came for the big stack. The good stack. Not the big stack. Not the long stack. The good, hyper, rare, collection stack. Um, we've got to... Co I can't even read your name! Who are you? Copperjar? Mr. Burns! Rose! This guy's a, an asshole, isn't he? Is he evil? I, I haven't actually got to if he's evil. I know he's... Uh, Mistress is evil. Nicket, Shelmet, and Dartrix as the reverse, the final reverse probably. Oh no. How'd you get in there? Okay, wait a minute. I may have screwed it up. I've done something wrong there. Alright, now let's take this stack. We have four cards, one of which is definitely wrong. And let's take a look! We are opening with the double-headed ice cream. Into, okay, back-to-back -back planes, Staraptor. Into, there it is, Butterfree VMAX. You can see the cool little swirl around his head. That is the full art version. Very, very cool. Number two of 189. And then next. Yep, I did. Yeah, I did one of those back to front, obviously. Well, maybe just regular V Max. Obviously, it's different than the other Butterfree. All right, big man Grimmsnarl. What do you have to show? What have you bought for show and tell today? Huh? Let's take a look. Let's take a look in your school bag. Let's see what you've got. We have a psychic. We've got the triple-headed Diglett. We've got Rare Fossil. There we go. We can evolve our other fella. Simisage. Uh, Trapinch, Jigglypuff, Ducklet. We've got Carablast. Mareep as our reverse. It's pretty cool art. Quite a, a humble countryside there. Simple uh, life. And then, on the end, it's a Rainbow Salamence. Kind of cool, it says in the corner, Evolve from Salmant V, Dynamax in pink. I think that might be a new addition uh, to the English. Look at that, Sensory Overload, boys. He is number 194 of 189. A monstrous 320 HP. I'm telling you, these new cases, they slide all the way in. They don't need any tapping, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeff, indeed. Jeff, indeed. We still have a hefty chunk of packs to go. We have uh, got our guaranteed Hyper Rare now, though. So um, do with that information as you will. Getting rid of a grass. We have a Glimwood Tangle. Interesting name. Simapore on the Rock. Larvesta Hippopotus. Firing out some, um, some rocks. A lot of destruction going on in the background. Very hectic. And then next up, Golette, Ferret, Ferret, and look at that, look at that, awesome text, lovely, lastly, Manetric, I will never not complain about this, change it back, Charizard, I said one of these Charizard has to have something decent in it, but our numbers are dwindling rapidly, one, two, three to the front, getting rid of water, got Corvusquire, we have Hiding Energy, we've got Fletchinder, we have uh, Purloin, we've got Centret, we've got Larvesta, we've got Familiar... I think, I swear to God, we've already seen this. Didn't I get this? Legitimately, that looks like I've seen it before. Oh! Salamence! Salamander? Salamence! Salamence! Commence the Salamence VMAX! I'll put that in my Salamence pile. I always call him Salamence, but it's, it's spelt Salamence... But that doesn't really sound right to me. Charizard. Wait! The last one was a Charizard, wasn't it? And I did get something good. I told ya. Charizard, good boy. One, two, three, front. Let's see what this Charizard has in store for us. We've got a Piers. Don't need ya. We've already got a much better version. Paris, got Theta. Skarmory. We've got a Cubchoo. Wimpod. Into a Vibrava. Vibrava! Into a Ampharos. Just lounging around. Go get a fucking goddamn job. Sorry, it's COVID. Please continue. You're doing great, pal. Grim Snarl Pack. Oh, wow! Some of these just like strip open. One, two, three to the front. Some of them have to spend like a whole minute trying to tinker with it. Struggle Gloves! Combuskin! Pupitar Meltdown! Ben Mel Benelby! Paris Lavatar! Galette! Combuskin! Reverse! Very end! As Asal As Aselga! Aselgore! Ak Akalga! Asalga, As Asalgo, Asalgo, yeah, yep. <laughs> Grim snarl. 
Pod. Energy. Ferret. Yellhorn. Sheep. Coral. Chicken. Bird. Bird. Monkey. Dinosaur. Reverse. Fox. All right, it's the angry fire noodle. I think we'll do a silent pack for this one. surprise gorgeous artwork I love this Pokemon Mew has got to be my top 10 I like all these little mythical floating fellas Jirachi Mew Celebi's okay that is a gorgeous card please tell me there's a different version of this I'd love to see look at his eyes look at his eyes isn't he just precious or she four packs to go I've had a blast but uh not really well, I mean, no, it's been fine, but Japan is where it's at, honestly. I'm a weeb now. I mean, I've had this channel for a long time. The Japanese packs are always better. I don't know, it's just how it is. Meltan, Lunatone Reverse, Very End, Bird, Taxi Bird, Slave Labor. Is the bird being paid? What's all this about? I can only hope you chuck at a fish every now and then. There is code. One, two, three to front, getting rid of steel. This time we have the Tangle. We've got the... This, we got that. We get the 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 Oh, oh, two packs to go. What do we have in this one? We got a rookie D. Rookie D's nuts. There is the coat. The yes, energy. Rookie D. Wishy washy. I hope you're wishy washing your hands during this pandemic. I can only hope so. Press like if so. Dislike the video if you're not. No, please don't do that. Just start washing your hands. Then you can like it. I'd like that. Electric! And Mel Metal! I'm losing the plot. I'm losing it. Okay, one more pack. And then I'm checking into a psych ward. There is the code. One, two, three to the front, getting rid of the grass. This time we've got a Flaffy. We've got a Vine. Big Parasol. It's raining. I could use that right now. IRL, I reckon. Clank. The Clat. Maroop. We've got a Centret. Again, lounging A lot of the lazy Pokemon, just kind of chilling in this set. Very end, we're going to end on the sexy plant. Man, I'd fuck the shit out that plant. What's the furry equivalent of wanting to fuck a human-looking plant? Is that a thing? And now it's time for Max Mofo's Postcard Collection! Pocket Monsters Gold Special Postcard. Uh, we opened one from this pack before. We're just going to slide another one. Brand new off the back. We've got the uh, old Japanese uh, Pokemon card back there. And let's reveal this one. Yep, these, they've all got to be from the movie, right? The, the Lugia movie? Because the last one was Lugia and it was like a poster for the movie. Slowking and Meryl. Speaking of super intelligent Pokemon that surpass the human brain by a long shot. Lugia as well, actually. And of course, it can't be a Max Mofo Pokemon episode without a Burning Shadows pack. Let's have another crack at the Charizard. Yes, I will eventually open some more um, booster box cards. Oh, these ones are like all dinged up. I probably will do another attempt of finding him with like a mega opening, like another hundred packs or something. At some point, or maybe I'll do a stream. I should stream on this channel. We've got a Hoot Hoot, Reverse, Into, Ah, oh. Nice, Alolan Muck, GX. Is that a can of Coke? Is that some product placement? <laughs> looks like a can- that that's weird seeing something that looks identifiable for the real world. Thank you guys so much for watching, I really appreciate it. Please uh, click on screen, check out another video. I post videos on this channel whenever I can. Please subscribe and press like, and I will see you when I see ya.